Fu is in the midst of a journey, searching for the samurai who smells of sunflowers. Accompanying her on this trip are Mugen and Jean, two samurais who she came across by chance, let's say. And like always, the three of them are off, drifting along, going wherever fate will take them. The time is the Edo period, a time of peace. It is no longer the age of the samurai. In fact, these days, seeing a samurai wandering alone is a pretty unusual sight. So that's why we're traveling together. Yeah, right. As if. I'm just out looking for blood. They kill assassins. They kill master swordsmen. And they kill ordinary warriors by the dozens. Then they get hungry. They earn some money. They eat some food. Fu gets abducted. And then they kill some more. That was brief. Huh? How rude! And that's basically how this journey has gone. Taking many, many detours along the way, Mugen, Jean, and Fu zigzag across the archipelago, taking on anyone and everyone in the country who gets in their way. And finally, at long last, they reach their destination of Nagasaki, and then... Well, perhaps it's best at this point to rewind our tale of these three travelers. So now, a whole new chapter is about to be revealed. Get ready, everyone. Another Samurai Champloo adventure is about to begin! I can't go any farther. Three more steps and I'm gonna die. Save your energy. They're roasting a whole pig. Check out that huge porker they got going. Yes. Mugen, wait! Stop it. You're just hallucinating. Azo. Three hots in a cot! Jean, it's free food! Let's go! This is rather suspicious. Nevertheless, need knows no law.
Come on. Where the heck are we going? I'm too cold to take another step. This blows. This is what you get when you get conned onto a ship promising you free food. You were the first one to set foot on that ship, Mogan. If something sounds too good to be true, it's likely a trap. Well, this is one serious trap, then. We've company. Huh? What's going on? Who the hell are these guys? I'm unfamiliar with this area. Well, this ain't nothing I can't handle. Foo, hide over there. Bring it on! I love a powerful man. Oh, what a wonderful scent you have about you. It's redolent with blood. Have any idea how long I've been waiting to meet a good, strong man of blood? What's going on? Ah, don't mess with me, you crazy wench! You belong to me now. So do as I tell you! Hey, you're... Nah, you couldn't be. It's the Matsumai clan that reigns supreme over Ezo. And because of the special rights that the Matsumai have granted to foreigners, this distant land in the far north has become a champ of a community. 
On any given day, you will see people of all shapes, sizes, and races strut down these streets. But there is a meager resistance brewing by the people who are oppressed by the Matsumai. They are from the old blood of this region, the native inhabitants of this ancient land. Overtaken by a much wealthier regime, the natives have been pillaged, massacred, and subjected to humiliation. They are on the verge of being driven from the sacred lands where the souls of their ancestors dwell. Thanks to their frequent guerrilla strikes and the clan's close-knit ties, only the Tsuromaki clan remains, continuing to mount a desperate defense. But the prolonged conflict has left Warso exhausted. As the current leader of the Tsurumaki clan, he can no longer conceal the fatigue that is taking over his tired body. The fate of the Tsurumaki clan, the last bastion of those of the old blood, is now like a candle in the wind. Mugen's gonna come back, right? He's okay, isn't he? For someone from the Ryukyus, this is a rather harsh climate. It's entirely possible that he froze to death. What? Are you serious? You worried? Well... He'll be fine. He'll make it. I, I know he will. I'm surprised. You've become attuned to it. Huh? His way of thinking. Jean? It's the snake venom. You won't be able to move for a while, but you'll feel better once the medicine starts working. However, it won't disappear as long as the witch keeps you within her mind. Not until you find her and kill her. Until then, don't push yourself too hard. I guess I ought to thank you. But first... Who are you? Someone who loves this land. Come again? Judging from your clothes, you don't seem to be a Sisam. A Japanese. Are you from the south? A Pikata, maybe? What's it to you, anyway? There are several myths that have been passed down around here. One is about a man that comes here from a faraway land in the south. Looking at you reminded me of that story. Well, seeing how I can't move a muscle, you might as well tell it to me. I ain't got nothing but time, anyway. The disturbances we face now in the order of all creation is the work of the demons. Hero from the old blood fights a demon for an entire night and eventually slays it. When this battle over blood and land is finally through, three saviors will appear. They will be in the form of one Pikta man, a Sisam man, and a woman in search of a man who smells of sunflowers. When these elements eventually fall into place, the balance of all creation will be restored. Myths are moral lessons handed down from the past. They serve as a path for those of us living in the present to follow. Sorry, dude, but I don't get it. The past's the past, you know? That doesn't mean squat to me right now. It's very odd. For some reason, when I talk to you, I feel a little better. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't have sympathy or anything like that for you. I'm just surprised how tactless you are with your honesty. Uh. One more thing. You're going to have to repay your debt to me. Huh? Don't tell me what I gotta do. I need you to look after this. And what's this? It's my clan's most prized treasure. It would fetch a high price if you were to sell it. But if you did, I would kill you. So I suggest you take good care of it until we meet again. Don't you try and threaten me! 
I think you should get some rest. It's best if you stay here and sleep for a while. The witch lives in the darkest depths of the forest. I only hope you really are our savior. You didn't come to give me a wake-up call. Bad news, guys. I'm in the mood to cause a little pain. Show me what you got!
force was wiped out by one single man. <laughs> it's so pathetic, it's laughable. Very well, my lively little friend. My name is Zenbanosuke Kurata. How about you cross swords with me? The name's Mugen. Tell me something before I kill you. Why do you guys want me dead? Well, I can tell just by looking at you that you're a Tengu collaborator. Tengu? Really? Are you yanking my chain? I'd say you picked a fight with the wrong man. Those who defy the Matsumai don't live long around here. Even the Tsurumaki are destined to fall. Shut your hole. I'm sick of hearing you babble. Mark my words, kid. The Black Tengu will continue to multiply. The nightmare will persist until the Tengu are killed. Will you quit yapping and just come at me already? Yeah! Prepare to taste my technique! <laughs>
Sven Banoske Karata. I should have expected no less of the man who defeated our army so completely. <laughs>
I've been dying to meet you. Perhaps I should have used more nectar. I'm surprised to see that you have any strength left at all. I am going to break you, and you are going to be mine. Prepare yourself! <laughs> Crap! Not again! You're going about killing this woman all wrong. Now hold on a minute. Why is a native like you interfering with this? Would you like to die as well? <laughs> Try if you think you can. But I'll make sure you get here for eternity. Running will do you no good, Mugen. I will come to visit you again! That's a promise! <laughs> What she said was true. You can't escape her. She will keep hounding you till the day you die. <laughs> What's up with that psycho wench? Can't you tell? She's a witch. What, am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. That makes sense now. How'd you prefer I explain it then? Would you be happier if I simply described her as a woman with a ghostly air about her and devilish powers? Would you believe me then? Nope, not even then. Well, even if I haven't convinced you, until you've gone and tracked down that woman's true physical form and killed it, you'll find it impossible to solve your current predicament. Hang in there. I've gotta go. What? Why'd you even come if you're just gonna leave? Isn't it obvious? I came here to save your neck and earn your gratitude. I'll bite the hand that feeds me. Before you do that, I need you to do one more thing for me. There are a fair number of enemies in here. Your friend is helping out, but things still don't look all that good. I'm gonna need you to deal with them. I don't think that's too much to ask. I'd better go. I'll be waiting on the top floor, waiting for you. Stop telling me what to do!